12.1.3 we have to define magnetic flux and magnetic flux linkage. We have seen that this metal conductor which sweeps through the magnetic field will basically cut through some of the magnetic field or cut through some of the flux. How much flux it cuts through depends on the area of this and that depends on the length of this metal bar, the conductor, the length of the conductor also depends on how quickly this conductor is moving. So this is the basis of the, the next part. We remember that the electrons are being pushed down and we set up a voltage across here. This voltage, this EMF, this induced EMF will be equal to BLV. So the wire, the metal conductor, is sweeping through a homogeneous field, which means it's uh, the same everywhere, the, the, the field strength that doesn't vary. In a certain time t, it will sweep out an area A. And, and what does the A depend on? It depends on this length, and it depends on this length. So this is length L, and this is the length that's, uh, that the bar moves in a time t, which is going to be V times t distance is equal to velocity times time. So that's going to be Vt. So the area will be the height times by the length here. So it would be L times by Vt. So A is equal to LVt. If we rearrange to make V, velocity the subject, we get V is equal to A divided by Lt. Remember that the EMF is equal to BLV. The EMF is equal to BLV can be written instead of having V substitute in A divided by LT. So it's going to be BLA divided by LT. Now this L and this L will cancel out. So we end up with the EMF is equal to BA divided by T. So it depends on the magnetic field strength, it depends on the area that is swept out by the conductor as it moves through the magnetic field. The faster it moves through the magnetic field, the more area it will cover in a certain amount of time and the greater the EMF will be. This quantity BA, which is the magnetic field strength, or also called the flux density, times by the area is called the magnetic flux and is given the Greek letter phi. So BA, which is the flux density times by the area, gives the flux. The unit of flux is uh, Weber's or um, Tesla meter squared. So BA, which is this uh, flux, is basically the flux. It's B times by A. The flux density times by A. Now this is all well and good if the field strength is at right angles to the path of the conductor. If they're not perpendicular, the angle between them is not 90 degrees, it will change according to cosine theta. So we can moderate this slightly to say that the flux that it cuts through is equal to BA times by cos theta. If theta is equal to zero, in other words, they're parallel, the, the bar will not be cutting through any of the magnetic field. Okay, we remember that it's BA divided by T. BA is the flux. So this is the magnetic flux, phi. If we rearrange this, we know that B is equal to flux divided by A. Remember, flux is equal to BA, or B is equal to the flux uh, phi divided by A. It follows that the magnetic field strength B is equal to how much flux is concentrated over a certain area. So the magnetic field intensity B can also be called the magnetic flux density. When you're asked to define the flux, you just need to write it in terms of BA. The flux is equal to BA, the magnetic field strength or the flux density times by the area.
So the EMF is equal to B over T, the flux divided by time, the, the rate of change in flux. The induced EMF would be the change in flux per time. And that can be written like this. So the EMF tells you how much flux is changing in a given period of time. Or it's another way of writing it is um, the rate of change of flux. So the EMF will vary according to the rate of change of flux. Remember, flux using the symbol phi can also be written as BA. So it could be delta BA divided by delta T. Describe the production of an induced EMF by a time changing magnetic flux. So here we have again, this bar has moved to the right and we have a, a voltage set up across this and uh, it cuts through a magnetic field. There's a magnetic field here. The EMF is equal to delta by divided, divided by time. EMF is equal to the rate of change of flux, change of BA divided by time. The EMF is the rate at which the magnetic flux changes. So we have three terms here, B, A and T. So it depends on the changing B. The magnetic field near the pole of the bar magnet is stronger the closer to the magnet we are. If we move the magnet and the circuit relative to each other, we can affect the B value. So in other words, by bringing the, a magnet close to uh, a coil, we are changing the flux linkage. The magnetic field strength is um, becoming stronger because it's getting closer to the coil. Another way of doing it is by changing A. If you make the area which sweeps through the magnetic field larger or smaller, you can basically change the EMF. The rate at which it changes will determine the EMF. Also, changing the flux. This can be achieved by rotating the loop or solenoid in a magnetic field. And this is most common in technical applications such as generators.